Hey guys, as you may know, we are well into spoopy time in October. We're halfway through, and you guys might want to make a spooky render for your friends or just show it off. So, I'm going to show you how to make a pumpkin in Blender very quickly. We're going to make a UV sphere with 16 segments and 8 rings. And then we're going to go into the edit mode. Uh, S, Shift Z. And then we're going to go into edge select mode. Do control or alt click every other edge. Shift alt click every other edge. And then we're just going to scale it out on shift Z. And then we're going to take all of these and scale them up. And then we're going to take the points here and turn on uh, the pro proportional editing mode. You can do either sphere or smooth. It really doesn't matter because we're so low poly. And then we'll bring it in with S and Z until we got a flat top-ish. And then if we do control two, we get some subdivide. We might want to bring these edges out a little more or bring the other edges in in them a little more. So let's just do that real quick. Mm, I might want to bring them out a little more. Until we just get that nice bumpy pumpkin look that you want. I think that's good for me. And then we'll just add a cube. We're gonna bring it we're gonna, no, we're gonna go into edit mode, scale it down, turn on that x-ray mode, and then scale it in some more. Go out of edit mode, bring it up in object mode, then we'll scale it down some more. Maybe bring it down just a little more. And then in edit mode, grab the top face, and then change to a profile view by either pressing one of these buttons up here or pressing one or three on the numpad and then just control right click to bring the edge out in like a little swooping thing and then you can edit it so it gets smaller as it goes out like that and then we'll just control two again and we got a nice little stem so that's basically it but to shade it or you can make a jack-o-lantern with a cylinders if we just go into the modifiers add a modifier and then mirror along the sphere okay and then rx rx 90 and scale out and bring up on the Y. Oh, solidify this one first though. And then just do that. And then we'll make one more cylinder RX 90 again. And in edit mode, go into wireframe and delete these faces and on a profile view delete all the top faces and then press A E alt E extrude along normals we can just have a happy jack-o-lantern and then we'll just go back into normal let's scale this in a little bit and then just Bring it to where it intersects. And then here we'll add a boolean to the sphere for both. If we apply the mirror modifier, 
join these or actually we do a boolean on the pumpkin no not a build boolean on the pumpkin and then we take the difference of this And we have a pumpkin. So we solidify this a little more. And then shade smooth. But in here, we'll do normals auto smooth. And then inside, we can make a, a mesh, a cylinder. Or we'll just make a. a no, let's do a cylinder. And we can make a candle. In here, we'll inset it. Extrude up. I right know. And scale it in a little more. Extrude up. Scale out. Extrude up. Scale out. Extrude up. Scale out. And then we scale that down. Bring it in, and now we're just gonna take the top, if we can hide the sphere, take the top, x-ray, take the top, make a new material, and then another new material, and make this an emission node, a sign. And alien occlusion bloom, screen place reflections. Let's make the emission yellow and make this pumpkin orange and the stem greenish brown. Just make a quick scene, bring it down. Or we can take out, let's take out the candle. Let's actually just keep the candle there, but hide it. Let's see how it looks without it. Uh, let's make this a dark color. And uh, less specular. Still some specular. Shade smooth. Let's make, if you don't have it, let's go into edit, preferences. Lighting, try lighting, and then select the pumpkin, shift A, light, three point lights. We're gonna definitely need to pump this up. Let's make it 150 for this one, 150 for this one, and 300 for this one. Let's turn down the roughness, or turn up the roughness for the background. Make this a uh, warmer light. This one can stay white. And this one, let's make it a colder light. Let's make them more powerful. And rotate them. We want the, more, the most powerful light to be in the front. I mean, that looks kind of cartoony and I like it. Let's see what it looks like in the render. And then let's, whatever we hid, let's turn it off in the render tab. Now let's render it. And that's a pretty good pumpkin, I think. Uh, you can also make your own texture by UV unwrapping it and then texture painting it. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, yeah. Uh, hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, please drop a like or subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!